What's up YouTube? I'm the Merc Plays and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing what we would like to see at the Game Awards. Uh, again, I'm being accompanied by Crash Tester 99. It's, uh, the first one I want to see, like more than anything, is Crimson Desert, dude. I know we got a little sneak peek or we got like a maybe like a three minute video, right? With just showing a little bit more of the gameplay. Mm -hmm. But man, I want this game. I want a release date and I want to see more, dude. So as far as we know, we're going to get companions. We're going to have some uh, some like abilities like he he like calls down lightning out of this thing. I don't I don't know the extent of the armory that we're going to be able to wield. I don't know if there's going to be like staffs or wizards or anything like that, but so far the combat looks amazing it gives me witcher vibes and a little bit a little hint of uh dragon's dogma when you're like climbing monsters and whatnot but what do you think of crimson desert dude yeah i'm i'm very interested in uh, crimson desert i i do want to see more i want to see more like just raw gameplay and not cinematic like what we got right so as we know pearl abyss is actually behind this project so i hope to see a release date more than anything <laughs> i just want to get my hands on this thing and play it because i love rpgs and i'm tired of downloading the witcher 3 because i'm craving that type of game so hopefully we'll see that soon and they will you know we'll get a little more information if not more gameplay at the game awards so now second game crash now you ready for this one because i know you've been more than anyone has been expecting more info on this game and that is space marine 2 now oh yeah i wasn't fortunate enough to play the first one but i know you did so why don't you tell us what you're excited for to see if they tell us anything at the game awards i want to see some more gameplay i want a release date uh i kind of want to see uh what they've got uh, going for the story i want to know if it's gonna have co-op or not i want to see that like I, I'm I'm a little biased when it comes to Space Marine 2 because I've been waiting 10 years for this game and I'm so, so freaking excited for it. Yeah. I just, I can't wait. Yeah, I, I, I've been trying to get my hands. I'm actually going to try to get my hands on Space Marine, the first game, and try that out because, you, you know, you tell me it's really good, so I'm going to check it out. But uh, so from what we've seen so far with the small gameplay clips that we've seen, the game looks massive, dude. Like, we're going to be fighting hordes and hordes of, of mm -hmm. aliens, man. I don't know what kind of creatures those are. It's 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 40K universe. So I don't know what they are, but ma like a ton, man. And you're just like this walking massive tank of destruction. It just it looks so, yep. so good. And I can't wait to get my hands on it. So I do hope we see that, man, uh, at the Game Awards. So yeah, going on to the next one, dude. The big one the the one we already know it's coming everybody was suspecting it but here it is we're finally going to get a gta 6 trailer man i am so excited for this i absolutely love rockstar's games everything they do is literally gold except you know the uh <clears throat> the remakes but anyways uh everything has been good from rockstar man and i'm i'm kind of excited for this one because they are just hinting right this is totally rumors here okay but what i'm going to tell you right now is going to blow your mind okay not only is this going to be the biggest map right i don't know if we're still going to be in the same city but apparently it's going to be bigger not only that it's going to be the first game ever to have more buildings you're going to be able to walk into and actually in interact with so we're talking about a massive massive game here now, Crash, what do you think of a GTA 6 trailer? Are you excited for it, man? What do you want to see, man? I don't like the whole, like, modern-day, you know, crime thing, whatever. Even though I really did like Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, because it, like, the aesthetic of it was spoke more to me than GTA's aesthetic does. Right. But do you like the, the idea of what they're trying to do? Kind of make more oh, yeah. uh, player you know accessible more livable environments you know how rockstar loves to add detail man and that's one of the things i love about them more than anything is the attention to detail and that's kind of what i'm more excited about and happy to see more in games what do you think of that stuff oh yeah i, I can appreciate the ambition that they're that they're uh, taking with gta 6 making it bigger and 
you know, more detail, you know, hope, maybe, hopefully better gun playing from than their previous games, but right, you know, I, I can appreciate it. I'm just, it's not for me. Right. So what I'm hoping to see is, again, a release date for this. I do want to see some gameplay. I think we might just see some actual, uh, just like a, like a cinematic for it. But uh, I do want to see more. And again, this is going to be like a new high for games, right? So if they completely blow us out of the water with this, who knows what other projects they might have been working on that they, they implement that type of detail and, and magnitude uh, for in the future. So I'm excited for it. GTA 6. I know I'm not the only one. Now, this one here. I'm excited to see Death Stranding 2, but let me just say, I have not finished the first one, and I believe Crash hasn't finished it either, right, Crash? Is that what you told me? No, I have not finished okay. the first one yet. I, I probably never will. <laughs> I absolutely love Kojima's work. I've been a big fan since the uh, Metal Gear series, so to see another game from him is it's just beyond words i'm excited to see anything and i'm not sure what this is going to be uh, i hear different things like there he rewrote the whole thing during you know the the, the lockdown i have no idea what this is going to be i'm excited to see though what he's going to come up with and i'm totally going to be on board to see more and a release date for this game because i need to go finish the first one but i'm excited what you, what, you want to see something on this crash i feel like if i see more it's just going to confuse me even more <laughs> <laughs> true true man i agree with you okay moving on i've been wanting to see but it's just like the hype train literally either you know slow down for me i just i lost so much interest because of the years that's been going by but now i'm kind of hoping we see something of dragon age 4 or dread wolf as they're calling it i want to see something please i want to see something for dragon age 4 uh, I want to see their gameplay or a release date or just something to get us excited because the Dragon Age series has been something that I've absolutely loved. I played Inquisition like five times, if not more, yeah, on every platform, by the way, PC, Xbox, everywhere. I actually have characters on there that I've played so many times and I really, really want to play another game in the series. What do you think of Dragon Age 4, man? I I would love to see like either another trailer or some gameplay for Dragon Age 4. I'm I am excited for that. I, I played the crap out of uh, Dragon Age Inquisition, almost 2,000 hours of a single player game. Yeah, <laughs> which is ridiculous. It's and, a great game. But yeah, I I want to see. I would love to see at least some gameplay. You know, just you know, showing us how the game's gonna be playing and whether or not it's better or on par with inquisitions gameplay yeah who knows we saw uh, like a leak a while back and it just it looked like a totally different game from what we're used to uh but who knows what they've done and changed and all that and i know it's in the uh kind of a production hell cycle right now so hopefully we see something new and fresh from the dragon age team so i'm excited for that one now I have a bonus here, Crash, and I think you might like this one, dude. What if we were mm -hmm. to get a trailer for the Elden Ring DLC, the Shadow of the Erd Tree, man? What do you think of that? I would very much, very much appreciate a, a, a trailer. It doesn't have to, like, be anything extensive. It could just be, like, you know. It's coming. Just a short trailer. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like, it's coming. We're still working on it. I, that would just be fantastic. Now, do we know because anything about this DLC right now? Or do you have any information on that? No, we know nothing about it. Every, every, Everything that you can possibly find on the internet about it, it's just rumors and speculations. Okay, so it's just a DLC coming that's probably gonna add like another chunk of world for everyone to, yeah. for everybody to explore and whatnot. That's actually really cool. I mean, Elden Ring was a big hit, and I believe Elden Ring was first announced at the Game Awards, so we might actually might see something at the Game Awards for for the uh, Elden Ring DLC. I'm excited to see, man. Again, 
I'm just excited to see what's going to be shown, man. Uh, Jeff Keighley has done an oh, amazing yeah. job oh, yeah. running this thing. I mean, I know he's the creator of it. I think he's, he's done a phenomenal job. Kudos to him. I think he's he just badass, awesome person, man. Yeah. But anyways, I want to know what you guys are more excited for. Now, I know I'm going to get flooded with GTA 6, and believe me, I'm on board with you guys. But let me know down in the comments below what you are more excited about or what you want to see be announced or shown at the Game Awards down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Crash, thank you so much for stopping by, man. Yep. And that will do it for this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember to level up in-game and in real life. We'll see you guys on the next one. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comments below. And always remember to level up in game and in real life. We'll see you guys soon.